All right, this is gonna be a quick one, but the CS dots, the power dots, the reverse dots, all the heads with dots on them. I used to be a hater and would be like, why do people play these? It's not the 70s anymore and people don't play concert toms because I think of concert toms when I think of the CS dots for some reason. But I put those heads on my superstar mainly for the looks, but I kind of fell in love with them and I put them on the Vista Light and I have two snares now with them and honestly I love them and if you caught the video I did on this snare made out of plastic then you saw that I cut out some circles and put them on the head to muffle it some and I thought about doing the same thing for the toms I put some fresh heads on this kit um, some Remo fiber skin ambassadors so I was gonna turn them into fiber skin dots because why not so the plan is to use the vinyl plotter. I'll cut up some circles, we'll stick them on the heads, and see what it sounds like. So now that we got the circles cut out, let's do a quick before and after.
right, so the sound. I'll play just the drums in a second, but the snare drum with the dot on it, it has a slight increase in fatness, but at the same time, it loses a bit of tone because it is muffling the head a bit. Kind of like when you use a big fat snare drum or you put a piece of paper on your snare, you have so much fatness, but you lose so much tone because there's so much muffling on the head. It's kind of the same thing with the dot, just a little bit more subtle. And it's kind of the same story with the toms. They're a bit muffled, of course, and they sound, I don't want to say mushy, but they're like fluffy in a way, or like pillowy, I guess you could say. While without the dots, there's a bit more tone and a bit more attack and less fluffiness. So honestly, I like the sound without the dots a bit more, but at the same time, it's such a subtle difference that it doesn't really matter and you can get away with either of them. But personally, I like the look of them, so they're staying on the kit. So hopefully you learned something and found this somewhat interesting. This is something I've wanted to try for a while now. And do keep in mind that this is not how Remo makes their CS dots. This is just my cheap and easy DIY version. So keep that in mind. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this type of video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.